students. Today I will tell you why is ketchup so hard to pour. Let us know about this in detail. Ketchup is a tricky thing. If you're dealing with one of the old-fashioned glass bottles of the stuff that restaurants use and want just a little bit for your fries or burger, you're out of luck. You tip the bottle to try and pour some out. Maybe even jiggle it a little bit, but nothing comes out. So you shake it and tap it, trying to get the ketchup flowing, until suddenly too much comes pouring out too fast and your food winds up drowning in it. The reason that ketchup gives you a hard time is because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. A fluid like this doesn't follow the same rules as a Newtonian fluid like water. Its viscosity, a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow, changes depending on how hard, how long, and how fast force is applied to it. Left alone in the bottle, ketchup has high viscosity and won't flow very much or at all when you first start to pour it. Apply a lot of force by shaking the bottle, though, or let a little force act on it long enough by tipping the bottle for a while, and the ketchup's viscosity decreases and it'll start to flow, sometimes faster than you'd like. Ketchup, made of particles from pulverized tomatoes, along with water, vinegar, corn syrup, and spices, belongs to the latter group and gets thinner the harder you push. Scientists explains that below a certain point of force, ketchup behaves like a solid, leaving you frustrated with anticipation. Once you shake the bottle beyond that breaking point, the ketchup becomes a thousand times thinner, giving you that shower of tomato paste that drowns your fries. How? Well, when you give that bottle a good hard shake, all those spherical particles get squished into ellipses that easily flow past each other. But what if you're cautious and prefer to gently shake the ketchup out of its confinement? It will flow eventually, but scientists aren't exactly sure how. It could be that the particles form small clusters, leaving more space in between to flow past one another. Or perhaps the particles gather at the center of the bottle, away from the walls, leaving the watery soup as a lubricant. Ketchup pouring pros know exactly how to control that flow. Keep the lid on and give the bottle a few good hard shakes to wake up the particles, then uncap and pour to your heart's content.